Hey, what's up? This is Manifest, and this is Mean TV. So I started skateboarding when I was about 14 years old and I did that every single day, non-stop, just breathed, eat, and slept skateboarding. I just graduated out of high school. I wanted to become pro. I was gonna take a year off, try and get sponsored. And there's this place called Move and Pick. It was a famous four stair. And I was trying to switch front side kickflip down it. And I landed primo on the side like that. All my weight came on the bottom of my uh, left foot. I couldn't even walk. I went to the doctors and he was like, oh, don't worry, you'll be, you'll be fine in like a week or so. And, and then two weeks went by and, and three weeks and then we're like talking like a month and my, my world is just like falling apart. This is like everything I ever wanted to be had just taken from me and I'd also broken up with a girl that I had been dating for a while as well. So I was in a, I was in a dark and discouraged place for a while and I was hanging out with some guys that were into music and stuff and into, into hip hop and so I started to kind of make up rhymes and. I started changing the lyrics of other artists that I liked and I'd make up my own and I really sucked at it for a while at rapping. It was just something I really had to work at. But you know, God just really gave me a, a dream and a passion for this music and I didn't understand it, but I just saw a picture of me, you know, performing and from a lot of people and just sharing my heart on things because, uh, you know, God had done some really big things in my life and set me free from a lot of junk and a lot of stuff that, uh, I was embarrassed about, like basically my past, you know, that I wasn't proud about. And that was a real turning point at the same time that I was just starting to do music. We can't just throw it. Getting crazy, going to Tokyo. Trek 25, cart 14, Tokyo, Japan, let's go. I definitely believe that my faith impacts what I do. It affects everything that I am. I'm a Christian before I'm anything else. God, you know, created me. And so I believe I was created to create. My faith in Jesus has always been the foundation that I turn to when, you know, things are going great or I'm making decisions or when things are going wrong and I need, you know, encouragement and confidence and uh, just the principles that are just just so amazing you know when you apply them to your life it just really helps you to stay focused on and on the right path because you know you can make bad decisions and the reason bad things happen to good people is because good people make bad decisions you know they have bad choices you know and uh, having those having my faith has helped me to create boundaries for my life to say hey I am not going to go there or I'm not willing to go this far to sacrifice this and mess up this area of my life. And people that don't set boundaries, that's where things start to go off the rocker. And that's why success can be so detrimental to a person or a career. Like success can be the death of people, you know? Death of their dreams and just their life because all of a sudden their character is not able to handle the success and then it all falls apart. And so with the success I've had, my faith has kept me grounded, has kept me focused in my marriage and just everything that I do. Just took a break from Shooting the fighter video, we're skating. That's what happens when you don't land on the bolts. 
But we're in uh, Tokyo right now, just trying to get some footage. We're filming some sakura, which only happens uh, once a time a year for like a week that they bloom. These beautiful trees are just gorgeous. You know, it's funny, uh, it means new beginnings and uh, new beginnings. Yeah. When you wake and you can't believe your eyes. One of the scriptures I live my life by, Paul the Apostle wrote it. He says in Philippians 3.13 that I uh, forget what's behind me and I press on towards the goal. I think it's so important that we forget our past and not be so rear view minded of what has happened because our, our dreams are in the future. You know, and the past doesn't see the future. Our goals are in the future. All the things that we want to do is in the future, you know. I don't like to hang around people that are always glorifying the past. It, it wasn't that good, you know what I mean? The future is where it's at. Like, I love to celebrate, don't get me wrong. You, you have to celebrate, but I don't, I don't get caught up in the past. I get caught up in the future and pressing on towards the goal because, you know, I'm on a mission, you know, I'm on assignment, and uh, I want to have fun, I want to live. And sometimes people just get caught up in too much where they came from or, you know, had a bad upbringing, you know. I, you know, I had, my dad had committed suicide, and, you know, I was really overweight as a kid and just, very uh, confused and didn't know what I wanted to do and you know that scripture just really helped me to, to, to focus on my goals like if you don't set goals for your life then you're guaranteed to hit it <laughs> you're not gonna hit nothing you need to set goals and you need to have dreams and go for those dreams and it sounds so cliche but we, we don't do it like if you ever sat someone down and said hey if you could have anything you want what would it be like you're like three things you know what I mean and all of a sudden you have this Pandora's box in your hand, like a lamp, and you watch people and they're like, like I can have anything? You know what I mean? And then they really have to think about it. But when, if you know what you want, like really know what, it, it was, you know what you're called to do and what your purpose is, you know, then you can start going towards it. And sometimes that takes prayer. Sometimes that takes time just to think and stop, turn off the TV, turn off things and just say, hey, you know, God, here's my life. Do something awesome with it. What have you called me to do? And then write it down and have it in front of you and say, yes, this is what I'm called to do. And you go for it. Might sound silly, but like, I don't know. It works for me. You have your monthly goals, yearly goals, you know, lifetime goals. Like, what do you, what do you want to trade your life for? That was the biggest thing. That's my biggest thing that people is, what are you going to trade your life for? Because when your life is all said and done, the price is the same and it's gonna cost you your life. Whether that's a big dream, a small dream, or no dream. So dream big and do something amazing. Be a world changer.